It was a cool fall afternoon in Boston when the phone rang, pulling Emma Lawson from her thoughts as she watched her seven-year-old daughter, Grace, play with her new art supplies. An unfamiliar number flashed on the screen. She hesitated, nearly declining it, but something compelled her to answer. Emma, the voice on the other end said, with a hint of disdain she recognized instantly. It's Rebecca. Emma stiffened. She hadn't spoken to her sister, Rebecca, in years. Rebecca? What's going on? There was a pause. And then Rebecca delivered the news Emma never expected to hear. Grandma passed away this morning. Emma's heart sank. Her grandmother, Eleanor, had been the one person in their fractured family who always made her feel valued. But as Rebecca continued speaking, her tone laced with sarcasm. It became clear that her sister wasn't calling just to share grief. I thought I'd let you know, not that you'll need to change much in your life to attend the funeral. The words stung, but Emma kept her composure. Rebecca had always been the golden child, the one everyone fawned over, while Emma had struggled in her shadow. Thanks for letting me know. I'll be there. The two sisters had grown up in the same house, but in different worlds. Rebecca had always been the charismatic one, favored by their father. Emma, though intelligent and compassionate, often felt invisible beside her sister's radiant charm. But the final blow had come when Rebecca had seduced Emma's fiancé, Jason. He had been the love of Emma's life, and Rebecca had taken him without hesitation or remorse. After that betrayal, Emma left everything behind. She moved to a quieter part of the city, met her husband, Mark, a thoughtful and hardworking engineer, and built a life far from the toxic dynamics of her family. Their home was a sanctuary filled with warmth and joy. Grace, their artistic and vivacious daughter, was the center of their world, her drawings a constant source of light. Though the scars from Rebecca's betrayal still lingered, Emma had found peace in her new life. But now, the call from Rebecca had dredged up old wounds. Returning to her childhood home for the funeral was the last thing she wanted to do, but Grandma Eleanor deserved that much. She had been the one person who had loved Emma unconditionally, always offering comfort when family life grew unbearable. As the day of the funeral drew near, Emma's apprehension grew. She knew Rebecca's call wasn't just about their grandmother. It was about reasserting her dominance. The funeral was held in their grandmother's hometown of Cape Elizabeth, Maine, where the family had spent many summers. When Emma arrived at the old estate, the memories flooded back, laughter, tension, whispers of competition that had never quite left the walls. The air was thick with grief and unresolved tension, the kind only a family like theirs could understand. Rebecca was there, standing among relatives, her smile wide but cold. She greeted Emma with a rehearsed friendliness that couldn't disguise the disdain beneath. Emma, Rebecca said, her voice dripping with false sweetness. It's been too long. Emma forced a polite smile. Yes, it has. Boston must be keeping you busy, Rebecca continued, casually tossing her hair. I've heard you're still doing the stay-at-home mom thing. Emma swallowed her irritation. I'm focused on Grace right now. It's what's best for our family. Of course, Rebecca replied, flashing a smile that didn't reach her eyes. I'm sure your little suburban life is fulfilling. As the service began, the weight of the past pressed down on Emma. Rebecca still saw her as the girl who was easy to overlook, but Emma wasn't the same person anymore. The eulogies went on, but Emma's mind kept drifting to the looming confrontation with her sister, the unspoken rivalry still simmering between them. At the wake, Rebecca approached again, her voice more genuine this time, but still laced with an air of superiority. You know, Emma, it's funny how things turn out, she said, swirling a glass of wine. Jason and I didn't last after all, but it's all for the best. He wasn't right for me. The mention of Jason stung, reopening a wound Emma thought had long healed. She clenched her fists, struggling to keep her composure. Why did you do it, Rebecca? She asked, her voice low but firm. Why did you take him from me? Rebecca's face faltered for a moment before she regained her confident mask. I didn't take anything, Emma. Jason made his choice. Maybe if you hadn't been so focused on your little plans, he wouldn't have looked elsewhere. Emma's heart pounded in her chest. You knew how much I loved him. Rebecca shrugged. Life isn't about holding on to people, Emma. It's about knowing when to let go and move on. 
The dismissal in her voice sent a surge of anger through Emma. This has never been just about Jason. It's about you always having everything handed to you while I had to fight for every scrap. Rebecca's smile faltered, the cracks in her perfect facade finally showing. But before the argument could escalate, a group of relatives approached, and Emma was forced to step away, leaving the confrontation unfinished. The funeral ended, but Emma left with a strange sense of clarity. She had spent years letting Rebecca define her worth. But now, for the first time, she realized that her sister's life wasn't as perfect as she pretended. The cracks were showing, and Emma was no longer the insecure girl she had once been. In the days that followed, Emma found herself replaying the conversation over and over, seeking closure. Rebecca's life was unraveling. She had built her existence on shallow victories, and now it was all falling apart. Jason had lost his job, Rebecca had filed for divorce, and their son, Alex, was caught in the crossfire of their crumbling world. Then came the final blow. Rebecca, unable to accept her own failures, began mocking Emma publicly on social media, painting her as dull and insignificant. But Emma, with the support of her husband and Grace, refused to let her sister's bitterness win. They created a video on Grace's YouTube channel, a heartfelt tribute to their family's journey, focusing on the love and joy they shared. The video went viral, sparking a flood of support for Emma and her family. People saw through Rebecca's facade, and her reputation began to crumble. As her social media presence collapsed under the weight of public scrutiny, so too did the life Rebecca had built on lies and manipulation. Emma watched from a distance as her sister's world unraveled. For the first time, she felt free from Rebecca's shadow. She had her family, her happiness, and her self-worth, and she no longer needed validation from anyone else. The past no longer held her captive. Emma had moved on, and it was time for Rebecca to face the consequences of the choices she had made.